Very simple words. Jeffrey D. Morgan, everybody. Yeah. 
I will say this though, I sure do love like Jensen and Jerry and, and all these guys. I think the, the family of it all is. I love Norman too, bro. It's tough. <laughs> They're all pretty good. I've been really spoiled. Um, yeah, I am. See, we're just going back. Um, cutting of Jenny's elbow wear is like one of the most iconic parts of the show. Um, I was just wondering if you had any like fun memories from the show and if you guys kind of knew that it would last as long as it has. Well, I don't know if you guys is an appropriate thing to say. <clears throat> I was again on that show 100 years ago and they're in year 42 now, right? <laughs> I knew, look, I, what I knew was, I mean, again, I came in that show uh, the second year, uh, the top of the second year, I believe. So I had seen the first 15, they did a, a, a half a season, they were a mid-season replacement. Um, ABC didn't didn't want Grace, uh, and they turned it down initially, and they were like, oh, well, shit, I guess it could be a mid-season replacement if we have a failure, and we'll just throw this Grace in there. Um, ruled the world for a, a little while there. Um, and what I knew was the character, uh, Danny and Izzy and me and Katie Heigl, I knew, that we all knew immediately that we had really good chemistry. Uh, and we were having a lot of fun, a lot of laughing. Uh, uh, and Danny was fun. I mean, uh, Shonda, God bless her, kind of wrote to Jeff she, she let my, not that I'm Danny, I'm not, but my sarcasm and sense of humor, she, she hung out with me enough to kind of know what I could pull off, I guess, would be appropriate. Um, and so she wrote to, I guess, my strengths uh, at that time. And, and then Katie, I think, it, it is brilliant and was so good. At, as Izzy, sorry, boy, what happened there? <laughs> Have I been talking the whole time without a microphone? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, anyway, I said some stuff earlier about the boys and my character on that. If you didn't hear it, I apologize. Um, did I answer that question? Some kind of? Okay, I like that you think so. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Hi, my name is Jamie Bowers. I'm from Plain City, Ohio. And I know that I'm a huge Negan fan and a Denny Duquette fan. Well, so there's a lot of love and a lot of hate there with the <laughs> killing and the loving. So my question for you is, marry, kill, fuck. If you have three different characters. You, are you gonna make me fuck myself? <laughs> This is going to be awkward. I, I'm already sweating. E.T., Big Bird, oh, and Kermit. That's just wrong. Yeah, that is disgusting. I know, it's awesome. Can I talk to you in private after? We got some people in the room. I don't want them to think I'm boning Kermit. You know what I mean? <laughs> what kind of fucking question is that? I put you on the spot. I don't, you know, I, they're all interchangeable. <laughs> Touche. I'm moving on from you, Indiana Jones. Thank you, and cheers and mischief. I love you. Mischief, mostly. Hi, I'm sorry for getting caught on you earlier, by the way. You did what? Sorry. I got caught on you during the photo op. I'm so sorry. No, it's, uh, it, was, it was fine. It's anyway, totally not comfortable at all with this girl. <laughs> you should have seen her during the photo op. Go ahead, what? Anyway, I'm really, okay, anyway, so for those who have seen The Walking Dead has ended and um, the ones who live have ended too, and... It hasn't ended, it lives on, but yeah, go ahead. You know what I mean. Mm. Well, the main show still continues on in spirit through other people. Did you say all the main shows and mention that uh, the, the Rick Grimesy thing? Yeah, it's freaking well, anyway, so... <laughs> You should have stuck with the hump in my leg during the photo <laughs> walk. <laughs> so 
So Dead City's not a main show? You realize what you've done here. I'm sorry. No, carry My on. question is, how would Negan react to seeing Rich back? After what has happened over the last several years? Well, I didn't watch that show. <laughs> Boy, he's a petty asshole. <laughs> Uh, I think Rick and Negan would actually get along, believe it or not. Uh, and, and, and Andy thought the same thing. Uh, they're kind of cut from very similar cloth. That being said, uh, there would probably be a little bit of tension if they ran into each other now. But, uh, you know, Negan's come a long way. Uh, and Rick isn't as good as y'all think. So I think that there is, I think they're more, they're closer together than maybe you want them to be. I bet you I'm right there, by the way. You're all like, God damn, you might be right. Yeah, he's a murdering bastard. And he's super hot. And I watched the show. Did I answer that? Oh, I know, you, I can't, I couldn't see, I got this light right here in my eye. You, you fish nets caught in my pants, we were stuck together. Boom. <laughs> I remember. Hi, my name's Savannah, and I'm from Texas. Um, Hi. I was going to ask you earlier, but I didn't get a chance to, what your shirt said, but I see that you're not wearing it anymore. <laughs> it said, fuck you, you fucking fuck. That's <laughs> I'm not, I'm not joking, that's what I said. Uh, uh, the director, producer on, uh, on the Not Main show, the one I'm doing now, gave it to me like three days ago, and when I left the set to come here the other day, I hadn't slept in like two days. I'd just been working, and I came straight to this, right? And uh, I did a really bad job packing. I bought like six pairs of pants, no shirts. <laughs> Zero shirts and about 20 pairs of socks. Um, and I found that shirt in my backpack that Mikey Sechazimus uh, gave to me because that's kind of how I feel a lot. <laughs> fuck you, you fucking fuck. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying. I hope there's not kids in there. Every time I do this, I'm like, oh man. Okay, I'm done swearing. Oh, that was just what my shirt said. <laughs> Listening. Uh, hello, my name is Margina from here in Ohio. Hi. Hello, I've been a, a fan of yours for years. Thank you. Though John was a dick. <laughs> but. Wait, what? What happened? What? Did you even know about Adam? I, say that again. <laughs> Do I know about Adam? Oh, that was the other kid that I, uh, <laughs> that I took to a fucking baseball game. She was so mad about it. And I'm like, that seems like a good dad thing to do. <laughs> took his kid to a baseball game. Good on him. No, I don't know. I think I found out in Vegas. I'm like, wait a minute. He, he's got another kid with like a different mom. Yeah, I didn't know. The writers don't, believe it or not, don't call me and say, hey, Jeff, you haven't been on the show in three years, but what we're thinking is, there's going to be this other kid. Is that cool? Because you're going to have to go to conventions and answer for all this shit that we're doing in like 20 years. Who fucking knew? Seriously, but that's, I feel like all the writers after every convention, they're like, you don't have to talk about it. You don't have to get all the dirty looks. Well, you did have fun in the Losers, so I'll give you that. Do I have a Losers? The Losers. Yeah, yeah, the, oh, the film, The Losers. The movie. Yeah, that was a good movie, thank you. Did you say you liked it? Yes, I loved it. Oh, good. <laughs> you know I'm getting old, I can't hear. Hey, we're talking about something like 20 years. 
feel good about this question. I just want to ask you to spoil everything. Oh, 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 just now, just now, I saw that there's a new little fucking commercial that they just dropped of me talking about the character, and I posted it on my little tweet thing. <laughs> so I can't talk about it, but you can look at your little tweet thing. I don't have boundaries, dude. <laughs> have you seen the characters that I've played? Do you think I say no to shit? <laughs> oh, that's crossing a line. No, I can't. I wouldn't want to do that. Hero Gasm 2. <laughs> Yellow, a bunch of birds. That's why I like this crowd so much. It's supernatural, folks. Um, it, look, I love Griffey and I love working with him. And we've been trying to uh, find a way for you know me to do that show for a couple of years. Because um, I was, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, this is this is cool. It's something that I hadn't seen that was pushing the, pushing the boundaries of certainly what had been on TV is the boundaries that were pushed in that I loved it. And so it was great working with him. And, we, and he, had, he had, again, tweeted that someone had asked, probably somebody sitting in this room, and said, uh, put Jeff in the show. And he's like, we've been talking about it. It, it can't work because Jeff's too busy and we got a schedule and blah, blah, blah. And I saw it. I'm like, hey, call me. Uh, we can do it. We'll work it out. Uh, and he did. And we did. Uh, and what they did was they, uh, I was in the middle of shooting a show that we don't talk about. <laughs> Dead City. Um, <laughs> one of the main shows. What the fuck was that? It's going to piss me off all day. And she brought up Rick's show. What the fuck? That was not even a show. It was like a fucking six episode that special thing. It doesn't continue. It's a mini series. <laughs> Lady, wherever you are, I'm so mad. <laughs> One of the main shows. Not yours. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, fuck you, you fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so creepy, I. Uh, I'm not even pausing. Okay. Uh, he, you know, he writes everything, but then he directed the last episode of the season as well. So I saw him, and I was so happy to see him, because, uh, you know, we've just been like zooming and uh, whatever people do now that's not in person. Um, and so it was really nice to see him, and, and I gave him a big hug. The next day, he's out with COVID. I never saw him again. He directed an episode on a fucking stand and an iPad. That's how we're talking to him. Like, what do you think about that scene, uh, Grippy? And let me get to the other side so I can see that your face. Um, it was awesome. Well, I didn't really see that, Jeff, because somebody turned off the iPad in the middle of the scene. I'm gonna do it again. But it was very nice. I, what am I gonna say? It was horrible. <laughs> That Kripke, man, woo! He's awesome, he's a genius, I think. He just got, uh, he just got producer of the year, which is kind of cool, right? Yeah, our, our Kripke, who started on the little show that could, right? Kind of amazing. Um, O.H. Oh! Uh, when I run out of shit to say, I just think O.H. Are we good? I feel like we're good. Thank you. All right. Do you know how hard it is to be me? <laughs> to live in this head? It's like this all the time. You guys are seeing some of it, and you're like, oh, boy. I thought he was a little bit more calm. It's actually a lack of sleep. Hi. I promise I won't cry when I look at you at the again. I mean, look, I cry sometimes. <laughs> Right now, 
I can't believe, can you believe that wasn't a main show? No, it should, it is. How do they include that show and not my show as a main show? And is Daryl's show a main show? No. Did you say no? Oh my God, I love you. All right, let's let's talk. What's your question? This is going to be my test now for people with questions. Main show or not main show? My question is more like a comment and a question um, about the episode Lebanon. Um, okay, back to Supernatural. Yeah. Um, I'm quick. You are like I got hit with a marble of the nuts. <laughs> That's kind of what I remember. You are a phenomenal actor, and I've watched you from your whole career. And one of my favorite things I've ever watched you do is when you're sitting at the table and you hear Mary's voice. You don't see her, you hear her. I yep. see every emotion across your face, and I just want to know where where that came from, like, wh where did you get that, you know, inspiration to... Well, it's, you know, you it's a little thing called acting. <laughs> no, um, look, I was so, again, this, this is another thing, uh, another circumstance where we've been trying to figure out how to bring John back for, you know, a few years, maybe longer. Um, and it's just hard with our schedules. It's crazy. And this one, I think it just, because it was the 300th episode. I, I love this crowd. Yeah, Jeff, you idiot. Uh, <laughs> so it was the 300th, so we had a little bit of warning. This would be the episode that we do. Uh, so uh, look, honestly, getting on that set again, and that was the first scene, by the way, that I shot in that episode, was that scene sitting at the table and I hear Mary's voice. Um, so I was probably a little, huh, to be back, yeah. you know, I was like, yeah. I had the vapors. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was a little emotional for all of us just to, you know, be in the same room together. I, I just felt like you conveyed so much emotion just on your face and you never said a word. Like, I knew exactly what oh, he was, well, thank I felt you. like I could feel exactly what he was going Thanks so about. much. I don't know that I thought about anything other than kind of being in the moment, to be honest with you, at that particular moment. Like when I'm working with Jared, I really gotta fucking work. But in that moment, <laughs> it was supernatural. Yeah. Supernatural. <laughs> it's like I got a routine. And for the record, John made mistakes, but I think in the end he did the best he could with what he knew. God bless you. Thank you so much. And we all make mistakes, by the way. Look at how quiet y'all get now, so you don't know the sticks. Wow. Not the main show? Is that what you said? Go ahead. I'm gonna get over it at some point. Just not today. I'm listening. Hi, thank you for being here, first of all. Thank um, you for having me. Yeah, welcome to Columbus. I'm also a big fan of your wife, and I was wondering if you ever do a Christmas movie with Hillary. Would I do a Christmas movie with Hillary? <laughs> Can you imagine? How about like Negan and Lucille Christmas? Oh, you gotta admit that's not a bad idea. That's pretty. I mean, that would be a main show. You can play that year round, not just for Christmas. Um, look, I would do anything with my wife. If she asked me to do something, here's the thing, I don't really have a choice. That's more of a Hillary deal. If she said, you're doing a fucking Christmas movie, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I love working with her. That first time I really worked with her was uh, 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 on The Walking Dead. Well, I just brain farted there. I was like, what's the name of the show? <laughs> the main show. It was so great to work with her, and I think, I think after doing that, there's probably nothing that I wouldn't do with her work-wise, even a Christmas movie. And I've seen all the Christmas movies, and they always make me cry. 
<laughs> They're fucking Lifetime movies. You're supposed to cry. I'm just a good audience. You all cry too. Don't you? Fuck yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ. It's a tough crowd, man. Hi, I'm Melinda. I'm from Columbus. And um, as a fan of Sons of Anarchy, I was really, really excited to hear the casting announcement for this evening. Jimmy Coates. Have you been familiar with his work, or can you tell anything at least about meeting the actor or anything? Well, I've known him for a long time. Have you? Yeah, yeah. I, I had known all those dudes. Um, I was, for one, a big fan of that show. Um, but we all, I, I, oh, I guess they don't do supernatural conventions. Um, <laughs> So, um, but they did all the Walking Dead conventions. I, I know, it doesn't make fucking sense, but yeah, come on over uh, to the Sons of Anarchy guys. And so, and, and uh, the first time I met him actually, I met Ron Perlman first, and he was a big fan of a show I did a hundred years ago called Magic City. Um, okay, two, cool. You guys would like this show. All y'all that haven't seen it, Magic City. Anyway, um, Ron Perlman fucking liked it. <laughs> and so I met Ron because of Magic City, him liking the show, and then he introduced me to the whole cast, including Kimmy. And now Kim's been on the Not Main Show with me for a little while. <laughs> and he is awesome. He is just as great as you probably think he is. He's that and more. He's a great actor and even a cooler human being. So it's it's been awesome kind of working with him every day. We have a lot of fun. I'm, I'm so glad he's on the shitty show with me. <laughs> Not me, Joe. Like Walking Dead and Sons of Anarchy, I think there's a lot of overlap in the fandoms. And when that announcement was Oh, there is? I mean, there was like... Oh, I didn't know that. Positive buzz online, so looking I didn't know that, because you guys are all crazy and y'all fight with each other and share alone. <laughs> I mean, I don't know y'all. But you know what I mean? Fandoms like fight with each other. It's weird. And you don't want to be in the middle of it like John or Megan. <laughs> which people could be very passionate about. I, I, you know, it is just all oh, make believe. I know some of y'all back there in the back row go, no, it isn't. No, it is not. John Winchester's an asshole. He's real. And you're him. <laughs> yeah, I didn't write it either. But I did kill Glenn. Go ahead. <laughs> and you know what? His eyeball popped out. <laughs> and I laughed. <laughs> and leaned back. <laughs> and laughed some more. <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> Hello. Uh, first off, I want to say I'm really bummed out because I went to get an autograph session with you today and they were all sold out this morning, but it'll make you feel good because Jensen's is not. <laughs> well, I'm not going to tell them that, are you? <laughs> but I do feel a little bit better, thank you. Is on supernatural John handed baby down to Dean, his son. I was wondering if you had anything that you plan on handing down to your own kids. From supernatural? Yeah, just in general. I mean, I have a bad. <laughs> I have, uh, I have, I have the, the bad. You have the bad. It's still bloody with an eyeball attached. <laughs> just hanging on my wall. I think I'm joking. <laughs> there were two. Greg and Carol ran off with one and I got the other. Um, but my, my son doesn't want it. George, however, my daughter is like, that's mine. <laughs> and my son should be really scared, by the way. <laughs> she is a tough one. Um, I, I've never been a huge prop guy. Uh, like, I don't know that I have anything. Like, I would love to have the Colt. I don't know who got that, who swiped the Colt. Um, it wasn't me. And also, when I it was... 
it got louder again. Uh, well, when I left the show, it wasn't like this huge phenomenon that it is now. It was, you know, I only did, again, like 12 seasons. When I came back for Lebanon, then it was a big fucking deal, but it wasn't. That first year, I mean, I remember us like, ah, is anybody even watching this show? So I didn't steal anything, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Normally I would, I would steal stuff. Just I, anything from your personal No, life. I want the car. I feel like I should have the car. It was my car. <laughs> And I'm a car guy in real life. Jensen's not. I don't think he can drive a stick either. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so fucking sensitive. <laughs> don't talk about my baby like that, Jeff. I love him more than you do, just so you know. I also have Dean Winchester shirts. You guys are funny. You really are. I appreciate it. Uh, did I answer that? I guess I don't, I don't have enough stuff, I guess. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> you hear how disappointed that thank you was? <laughs> oh, they're right here. Oh, my God. He didn't answer that question at all. He didn't take it seriously, not one little bit. <laughs> Hello, this is a question from my boyfriend. He is a huge Well, why don't you ask him then? <laughs> oh, for, from. Where is he? Oh, he's not here right now. He's in Mexico. He's in Mexico. Oh. Yeah. So his question was, do you enjoy, did you enjoy playing as Negan? And what happened to your role as Barry? What happened to my role who? As Barry. I didn't hear that. Barry. Barry? Barry? It's Barry. That's what he told me. That's what he told me. Okay, so I have your roll on Barry. Do y'all know what he's talking about? She's talking about Shameless. No. Where are you Who the fuck's Barry? <laughs> I wasn't on Barry. You mean yeah, that's you true. should know. Oh, oh, I should have been. Yeah, Henry Winkler got that role. Okay, then another question is: you know <laughs> Did you have any trouble connecting to your character as Negan? <laughs> <laughs> You've been watching me on stage for like 10 minutes. I'm fucking Negan. <laughs> Negan has to keep up with me, you know what I mean? Those tables turned like five minutes after walking out of the Winnebago. It went from, can Jeff do this? To, oh fuck, Negan's not ready for this. <laughs> I've never had any problem playing Negan or connecting with I mean, obviously, I don't make a habit of hitting people in the head with a baseball bat, but here's the thing. He's really fun, and he's got a sense of humor, and so you find things like that, at least I try to, uh, and you kind of amplify them. I mean, I, I'm not that nutty in real life, uh, especially the first couple of years of Negan, but it was about finding things and having fun with it, and I love in doing him, especially the first two years, the cast would be so like fucking because they were very, they were very serious on the main show. Um, <laughs> and I threw them, I think, like uh, Andy would get mad, and uh, Lauren, Lauren, who I knew and we were friends, didn't talk to me for a year in real life, and now she has to do a shitty show with me, a oh, not main show. <laughs> And we're really close friends. Uh, it's funny how that works out. Um, too bad for Lauren. <laughs> uh, what was Thank the you. question? Yeah. I connect fine with Megan. I'm sorry, what? No, I don't kill people. Oh yeah, I'm not a softer, I'm a softer version of me. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say. Whatever helps you sleep at night. <laughs> no, I am. I'm just kidding. Uh, where am I going? You too. Am I going over here? Sorry. Hi, my Hi. name is Tessa. Um, I actually need to with my favorite character on the show. Woo! Yay! And after he killed Glenn. 
Yeah. Which, like, broke my heart. Then you can dug in. I, I forgive you. <laughs> well, thank you. My question was... What about Abraham? Is anybody pissed about that? <laughs> <laughs> thank God he said that. My question was, is there, like, was there, like, a character that you just did not like playing? Like, you woke up the morning like, I do not want to go play this character. Well, I think when you're starting out, uh, when you start the, you know, your first doing jobs, you don't have a whole lot of say about what you're doing, the jobs you're doing. I'm just trying to keep a roof over my head and dog food in my dog's ditch, really. Um, and I did a lot of roles that I was like, holy shit, let me get to a point where I don't have to do this. Um, I know you probably uh, heard about like the Zinti reptilian guy I played on Star Trek. Uh, that one I, I, I hated with a, such a fucking fervor that it almost, it almost made me quit acting. I, you know, I, this was well before, you know, Supernatural or Grays or Weeds or any of those shows that I, you all have seen. Um, but I played a guy and I didn't use, I had my voice and I was covered in prosthetics and I couldn't eat, I couldn't, I, I couldn't breathe, I, I got claustrophobic and fucking quit and that that was a role and that happens and then you find something like John Winchester or Negan and you're like oh this is okay I should do this does that make sense yeah, yeah. and is that that time I'm afraid so it's that time thank you all